In this video, I'm going to explain how to use null values. Null values are a bit of a concept to explain. A null value is basically with a name we give to not having any value in a particular row. Uh, but it can stand for different things. It might be that we don't know what data it should be. It might be that the data is missing. It might be that we have a very precise idea how to interpret the null value. And null is a value in its own right. It's not like the number zero. It's not a space. It has a value recorded by the computer as null. But null values could mean different things. What we're getting is three-valued logic. Okay, okay, let's look at it in practice with, uh, with SQL. So I'll start the Oracle interface, select everything from hack. And if I scroll, there is a null value. There is no value for the bonus in this particular row. Null values have a peculiar effect. When we carry out a calculation, balance plus bonus, for example, the null value can't be used to calculate because, well, how much is a balance plus an unknown figure? Well, the bonus is unknown, so the result is an unknown figure, a null value. In a calculation, if there are null values, we will get null. Then null doesn't work with equalities when you use where. There is a replacement, which is to use the keyword is null. Like this. Select everything from ghost where area and I cannot use equal null. I have to use is null. Let's run this. There is no data in the cost table with an area that is null. I could try is not null and run that. And here I get all of the data is null, is not null, and in all of these queries, null works as if it was unknown. There is a different kind of calculation with columns, and that calculation is to summarize the contents of a table. For example, one of these summary functions is count. Count works to give a count of the number of rows in a table. Like this one. Selecting the count of the number of rows from ACK and we rename that number of accounts. We say these functions are aggregate functions, or sometimes we call them group functions, because they offer one result for a whole set of rows. With the WHERE clause, counting counts only those rows of data that we have selected. So we count everything where the branch is Brumel. That is two results. Or we could count everything where there is no value for bonus, no known value for bonus, where bonus is null. That would give us one result. So there we are, counting, using null values, but it takes a little bit of understanding to, to work with null values. Think about it as you practice.